Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to some more WWE 2K18 Ruthless Aggressionary Universe Mode. I believe this is episode 40. I actually, I think we have hit episode 40 in the series. This is definitely my longest ongoing series on this channel thus far. The longest series I've ever done. I've never went this far in a series. But we are on Monday Night Raw and this is the final show before on. Forgiven, and we are kicking things off here live from Pensacola, Florida, on Monday Night Raw with our general manager Eric Bischoff, who has an announcement regarding the Hardy versus Hardy match that was just announced last week for Unforgiven. Jeff Hardy, of course, last week he accepted the challenge of Matt Hardy after Matt Hardy cost him a match against the Hardcore Champion CM Punk. And he's, uh, Jeff Hardy said that he accepts the match as long as whoever loses the match at Unforgiven leaves Monday Night Raw for good. And uh, yeah, I guess that's what that's what Eric Bischoff is here to talk about today. But of course, if you guys are enjoying this series, be sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment down in the comment section below for what you guys have thought about this series so far and what you guys want to see in, future, in the future for this series and other series to come. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. But let's see what Eric Bischoff's got to say here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. Now, without further delay, let's get to tonight's announcements. First off, the former tag team of the Hardy Boys. Now, if you recall, last week, Jeff Hardy accepted a match challenge for the for Unforgiven on the condition that whoever loses must leave Raw for good. Now, I've spoken to Matt, and he has agreed to the match as well. Oh, shit, I missed the rest of it. So, I've informed both Matt and Jeff to find a tag team partner because tonight they will face off in a tag team match. And the winning team picks a stipulation for the match at the pay-per-view. And also tonight you see two preview matches for Unforgiven as Trish and Lita face off. However, this match will be a triple threat because Tori will be involved. And now on to the main event. Randy Orton, HBK, and Triple H will face off in a triple threat elimination match to get ready for the Unforgiven pay-per-view. And now let's get on to the show. So Jeff and I have to find a partner for tonight. Oh, that works for me. Time for Team Mattitude to finally make their debut. Well, we got a blockbuster night ahead of us after those announcements by General Manager Eric Bischoff. And we are kicking things off tonight with the triple threat match to get the women ready for the women's championship match. I don't forget, of course, Tori Wilson is not involved in the match at Unforgiven. She's just in this match here. And, um... We have the triple threat elimination match in the main event between Triple H, uh, HBK, and Randy Orton to get them prepared for their triple threat one fall to a finish match at Unforgiven. And then we have Jeff and Matt Hardy with partners of their choosing. And by the looks of it, Matt Hardy isn't just going into the back and finding anyone. It seems like Matt Hardy already has a teammate set aside. So we're going to have to see who that is. And we're going to have to see how Jeff Hardy... It's going to respond. See, we're going to, have to see how Jeff Hardy, uh, we're going to, have to see who he picks for his partner and who he's able to muster up to go to battle with him against his brother Matt and shit. And <laughs> Matt's tag team partner tonight. As now we await the arrival of the number one contender for the women's championship. It's Lita making her way to the ring. Look, man, I know it's the last minute, but I need your help. Get to the arena as soon as you can. Well, Jeff Hardy was on the on a cell phone with someone in in the backstage area. He called someone up. So clearly, it's not a normal Raw superstar. It's not uh, any member of the Raw roster that Jeff Hardy's calling up. He's calling up someone that he obviously knows because he has their cell phone number. So I wonder who Jeff Hardy has called, and I also wonder who Matt has picked for his tag team partner. But now we await for the women's a champion. Trish Stratus is making her way to the ring. And we are kicking things off 
on Monday Night Raw Big here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a long, we got a long night ahead of us. Got a lot of big matches before we head to Unforgiven. And the next pay-per-view that Raw will be included in will be the Survivor Series pay-per-view, which is not focused on nothing but Raw versus SmackDown. So in the weeks leading up, you will just see a bunch of warm-up matches for the superstars as they get set to take on each other and some brand warfare in just a couple months. But of course, after Unforgiven, we do have the SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view, No Mercy. So we have that to look forward to next. So after... After Unforgiven, we switch gears over to Friday Night SmackDown. And now, it's time to kick off the first match of the evening. Tori Wilson, Lita, the number one contender for the Women's Championship, and Trish Stratus, the Women's Champion. There's the bell. This match is underway. Trish Stratus going right after Lita, but Tori Wilson using that to her advantage here. Tori Wilson, obviously not a huge part of this match. It's mainly going to be focused on... Oh, look at the athleticism by Trish Stratus. Uh, it's obviously not going to involve too much... It, we're going to see a lot of action between... Oh, big powerbomb. Uh, I, oh, wait. Hang on a second. Goes for the cover. Oh, Lita kicks out immediately as Tori Wilson waiting for Trish to get up to her feet. Lita going to back off for a second. Give herself a chance to, to get a breather. Catch a breather. Uh, so, yeah. Like I was saying before I got interrupted or before I decided to interrupt myself. We're going to see... A lot of stuff we're going to see is probably going to include uh, be between Trish and Lita because... Those two, they, they're facing at the pay-per-view, so obviously they're both going to be going after each other more. And they both have beaten Tori Wilson in their own way. Of course, Lita defeated Tori Wilson when she eliminated her from uh, the Women's Battle Royal. And Trish Stratus has defeated Tori Wilson on two separate occasions. So, uh, like we're seeing right now, like Trish and Lita teeing off inside the ring before Trish sent Lita to the outside. We're going to see a lot of action between... Trish and Lita, and Tori's just kind of going to be in the mix to add a little bit of spice to the matches. Tori Wilson sends Trish Stratus shoulder first into that apron. Not the apron, what am I talking about? The ring post. Wait a minute, Tori Wilson with her own version of the stink face, putting her buttocks right in the face of the women's champion. That is just, she probably sees that as complete disrespect. And Lita was just going to let that one happen. She doesn't even care about the women's champion. She only cares. She doesn't care about the women's champion. She cares about the women's championship. And Lita with a big elbow. Tori Wilson up on that second rope. What's she looking for here? Lita second rope now. What the hell? Jesus! Santon all the way across the arena. Tori Wilson with a body splash to follow it up. Lita and Tori Wilson working together for a little bit here. And Tori Wilson obviously going right after Lita after that. That was short-lived. It's Tori Wilson now looks to take advantage. And you can think that if Tori Wilson could get a victory over either the number one contender or the actual champion here tonight, that she could possibly, there could be a chance that she gets added into the match. I don't know if that's really going to happen because the match is already set for Sunday. Well, uh, but she could get a future, she definitely could get a future championship opportunity as she drops Lita face first onto the turnbuckle. Lita's still fighting back here. Look at this, Lita, look at this. Twist of fate, and now Trish Stratus is just, just watching on, trying to, Catch Lita off guard, but Lita was she was not to be messed with in that juncture, and she hits her with a big neck breaker, taking her down, covering the wrong person here, trying to cover the champion. And if Lita could get a, a pinfall over the women's champion before the right before the pay per view, that would give her pretty high waves of momentum going into their championship match. Lita uh, Trish Jess rolls to the outside. Lita now back up to her feet, looking to fight back. Look at this. Oh, gets caught into a power bomb by Tori Wilson. Tori Wilson's looking pretty good here so far. Tori Wilson, what's she doing here? Clothesline, sending her and Lita outside to the floor, right in front of our fans, and she's going to send Lita back in the ring. You can imagine that Tori Wilson's probably going to come back in the ring. Yes, she's looking to come back in the ring here. Oh, Trish Stratus kicking her, right, in, in the abdomen. As Tori Wilson takes a breather, but Lita now fighting back. Look at this. Looking to possibly drop her on her head, but no, Trish Stratus with a reversal. Oh, and she took out Tori. Trish, I thought she was going for Lita, but she took out Tori, and then she followed up, that up with a drop kick to the number one contender. Oh, and Trish now, she's looking for that patented chick kick. Can she put her away? Chick kick, no, reversed. Reversed. Tori Wilson reversed the finisher. But it's she wasn't able to capitalize. She tried to capitalize, but Trish Stratus would not allow that to happen. 
Trish now sends Tori into the corner. Oh, Tori fights out of it. Kick to the face. Look at this. Oh, reverse DDT dropping the women's champion down later, tr trying to steal the victory there, but Tori Wilson was lying in wait. She was standing right in front of Trish. I don't even know why she'd go for that leader now. Look at this. Oh, reversal by Trish Stratus. Russian leg sweep taking down the number one contender. Now Tori Wilson looking to steal the victory, but Trish is just standing right there. At it's like they're just doing whatever they can to steal a victory here. Now Trish and Toy, uh, Trish and Tori, <laughs> excuse me, I, my words got a little mumbled. Trish and Tori now going at it. Trish has got Tori up on that top rope. What's she looking for here? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Holy crap. <laughs> Hurricane Rana off that top rope. It's now down between Trish and Lita. One of these two women could walk out with a victory here tonight. Lita. Looking for possibly a power bomb. No, reversed into a face buster. Reverse, reversed into a face buster by Lita. Trish Stratus. Is she calling for a chick kick? Is she calling for the chick kick? What's she looking for? What are you looking for here? Oh, no. No, no, no. Spine buster. And dropping Lita down. Center of the ring. That usually sets up for the chick kick. Question is, is Trish going to go for it? No, oh, no. Tori comes back in the ring. She almost, oh, she almost got caught with that. It was either going to be her or the ref that got caught with that chick kick and Tori Wilson with that signature spin out DDT. That could very well put away the women's champion here. She just has to capitalize. She looking to go for the pin on Lita. Of course, Lita just ate that spine buster. So that she could still be feeling the effects, but Lita kicks out at two and a half. Like I said, we got a long night ahead of us. We got three blockbuster matches. All main event worthy matches as Lita fights out of that triangle choke. But Tori Wilson still fighting back. Look at this. Spin out DDT on Lita now. As Trish in the background makes her way up to her feet. Trying to go after Tori. But Tori is just sort of brushing her off. Oh, look. Oh, she went for another chick kick. You saw that. Trish was looking for another chick kick. But Tori avoided it once again. Oh, and she gets on up on top on the top rope. Trish Stratus is going to have to roll to the outside. Try to, give her, try to create some separation. Now it's Tori and Lita. Center of the ring. Oh. Now Lita's going, getting sent to the outside, possibly. No, look at this. Look at this. Sunset flip. Goes in for the cover. Could this be it? Could give her the waves of momentum heading down. Unforgiven. No, Tori reversed. Tori reversed. Cover two. No, kick out at two. But Lita's still fighting. She's still refusing to quit. Snap suplex. And now Lita, top rope. You know what she's looking for here? She's looking for that patented moose salt. That patented moonsault, Tor Trish Stratus comes in to make the save. And look at this. Look at this. Jesus. I thought she was making the save, but she just dropped Lita right on top of Tori Wilson. Trish could have the victory here over the, the number one contender, but no. Imagine what that would do for Trish if she could pin the number one contender just six days before their championship match. Now, Trish sends Lita to the outside. She's going to turn her attention to Tori Wilson. But Tori Wilson going to try to try to take advantage of the distraction that Trish caused for herself. But Trish fighting back. Fought out of that corner. Trish St Stratus. Can she hit it this time? She's looking for it. Can she hit it? Chick kick! She took out Tori Wilson. She couldn't get the victory over Lita, so she's going to try to get the victory over Tori Wilson. Does she have her here? Three! Trish Stratus. Gets the victory over Tori Wilson. What a match that was. Trish Stratus unable to take out Lita. So what, she, what does she do? She sends Lita to the outside to get the victory over Tori Wilson. So Lita, she may, Lita may not have picked up the win tonight. But she still was not pinned by the women's champion. She was not pinned by the women's champion. So you're going to have to see how that plays into their match in Unforgiven. Trish Stratus, she got the win tonight, but she didn't pin the number one contender. So we still don't know if Trish can truly beat Lita. We still don't know. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the second match of the night. It's where we get to see what the stipulation will be for the Hardy versus Hardy match at Unforgiven. Let's get this going.
And here we are with the second match of the evening. We got Matt Hardy, version one, making his way to the ring. His partner isn't by his side tonight. I guess we're going to have to see who that's going to be. But he said, if you guys recall to the start of this episode, Matt Hardy said that he was. it was time for Mattitude to debut. Now I wonder what that means. I'm not sure what that would mean. So if it, unless he recruited someone on the Raw roster, that has to mean that Matt Hardy also is bringing in an outsider. I mean, obviously, I don't know, because we're not about. We won't know until, until he makes his way to the ring. But my guess is that Matt Hardy is bringing someone else in from outside the Raw roster, just like his brother Jeff is. We're just got to find out who. And it's Matt Hardy's theme music playing again, and it's Shannon Moore. What? Longtime friend of the Hardy Boys is on Raw tonight in Matt Hardy's corner. And he's wearing the version 1 attire. I guess he's a part of Mattitude. Huh. What an interesting, interesting addition. Matt Hardy gets out of one tag team with his brother and goes into another tag team with his best friend. Uh, his longtime friend. I guess I could see why Matt would choose Shannon Moore. They've been friends for a very long time. But my only question is, who is Jeff Hardy chosen? Who has the charismatic Enigma chosen as his tag team partner here tonight? And of course, off the record, Shannon Moore and... Uh, Shannon Moore, he's not... And whoever Jeff has chosen, they're not actually on the Raw roster. They were just brought in for this one-time match. Eric Bischoff signed off on it. He said, if you can find someone, anyone, whether they're on Raw, SmackDown, or if they're someone that I approve from outside the WWE, you can bring them in for one night, and then we can see where we go from there. So Shannon Moore is not completely on the Raw roster, but I can imagine that wherever Matt Hardy goes, that's where Shannon Moore will go. But now we have to see who Jeff Hardy has chosen as his tag team partner for tonight. There's a charismatic enigma, a man who was turned on by his own brother at the SummerSlam pay-per-view. A lot of us were shocked. We were in awe at the, at, at the sight of Matt Hardy standing over his broken brother, Jeff Hardy. Matt Hardy taking out Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, for uh, weeks, was refusing to fight Matt Hardy. But Matt Hardy pushed Jeff Hardy to the edge. And that is what brought us that is what has brought us to this match at Unforgiven. That's what has brought us to tonight. But the only question is, when it comes to tonight, who has Jeff chosen as his tag team partner to take on Matt Hardy and Shannon Moore? Or Mattitude, as you could call it. And we're about to find out. Oh, Gregory Helms, formerly known as the Hurricane. I guess he ditched the mask, he ditched the suit, and he is now known as Gregory Helms. Also a longtime friend of Jeff Hardy. The Hardy Boys, bring, they're, they're making this personal. Well, it is personal, but they're making their friends pick sides. And it looks like Gregory Helms has chosen the side of Jeff Hardy. And of course, Gregory Helms isn't on the roster. He's not on the Monday Night Raw roster. But uh, I just wonder if he, if Gregory Helms will stick around after this. Uh, maybe he will, maybe he won't. I don't know. But Gregory Helms and Shannon Moore both making their debut on Monday Night Raw, making their debut in the WWE. Shannon Moore at Matt Hardy's side. He's a part of Team Attitude. And Gregory Helms, he's, at the, he's on Jeff Hardy's side. Jeff Hardy called in a favor. And I guess that is what has brought us to tonight with Gregory Helms. He's in the building and he's teaming up with Jeff Hardy. What a couple of uh, interesting picks for both Matt and Jeff choosing longtime friends like that. Maybe they just can't trust anyone else to get the job done. I don't know. We'll have to see. But the winner, the stipulation of this match is that the winner... Well, uh, the, the winner of the team that whichever Hardy is on. So, if Matt's team wins, whether Matt gets the pin or Shannon Moore gets the pin, Matt Hardy chooses the stipulation for their match at Unforgiven. They get to pick the match type. And same goes with Jeff Hardy. If Jeff Hardy or Gregory Helms gets the victory, Jeff Hardy 
gets to pick the match type for the Unforgiven pay-per-view. Matt and Jeff are starting things in the rain here. Matt Hardy getting just wailed on by Jeff Hardy. Goodness, Jeff Hardy not wasting any time. Matt, Jeff Hardy with a lot of pent-up frustration. But Shannon Moore with that cheap shot. Now Jeff Hardy still going right back after Matt. Now turns his attentions to Shannon Moore. Takes him out with the right hand. And Matt Hardy wasn't going to stand for that. Now Matt Hardy's got Jeff Hardy. He's got his brother Jeff on the ropes. And he sends him off. He's got to hurt the throat. Hurt the, hurt the chest just a little bit. And then Matt Hardy now stomping away at Jeff Hardy. Picks him up. Russian leg sweep coming right up. A lot riding, oh, there's a lot riding on their match. I don't forget the loser has to leave Monday Night Raw for good. Brother versus brother. It's going to be one of the biggest matches on the card. It's Matt Hardy now. Oh, big shot to the arm. Look at this. Look at this. Neck breaker. No, reverse by Jeff. Big crossbody. Down for the cover. Trying to get, get the victory early. No, Jeff. Matt Hardy kicks out at two. I usually say Hardy kicks out or Hardy going for the big move, but I can't say that when they're both in the rain. So I have to say Matt or Jeff. That's Gregory Helms and Jeff Hardy looking for the tag team. Look at this double back body dropping. Did you see the air that Matt Hardy caught? But Matt Hardy turns right around, gets the hot tag. He Oh, Gregory Helms. He wasn't paying attention, and that cost him. Shannon Moore coming in from behind. Gregory Helms not going to have any of that. To uh, Gregory Helms and Shannon Moore. Are both friends as well, and they're being not they're being asked, and they're also being forced to get put in between the situation between Matt and Jeff. Square Graham sends Shannon Moore off the ropes under over look for belly to belly. No Shannon Moore drops him right down on the mat. Now Shannon Moore, team attitude, has got the upper hand in this match. Obviously, you could tell that Shannon Moore plants on stick around with Matt because they both have a similar or well, the same exact attire here. Shannon Moore now. Shot to the back of the head. Gregory Helms. Another shot. Reversing with a shot of his own. Crucifix pin. Cover. Does he have him up? Does he, does he got him? No. Shit. My God. What's wrong with me? I apologize for my impoliteness. Gregory Helms. Getting kicked in the gut. Snap suplex. Shannon Moore. Team Attitude's got the upper hand here. Shannon Moore now. Second rope. What's this? Oof. Diving elbow drop off the second rope. Look at it capitalize. It's Shannon Moore. Look at this. Up. Jesus, what a maneuver. I don't even know what that move is called. <laughs> I won't even lie. I don't even know what that move is called. But Shannon Moore just, I know it's Shannon Moore's signature maneuver. And then he goes into that back suplex. Taking out Gregory Helms. Shannon Moore could be closing in on victory for Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy could very well be choosing the stipulation for their match at Unforgiven. Shannon Moore calling Gregory Helms up to his feet. Oh no. Gregory Helms moved out of the way. But Shannon Moore now. Still got him. He still caught him with that exploder. Now Shannon Moore cutting off the center of the ring. Keeping Gregory Helms on their side. It's a wise... Wise choice by Shannon Moore as he drops him down. Very wise choice on the part of Shannon Moore. Of course, probably learning a lot from Matt Hardy. Both Matt and Jeff, you can't deny whether they whether they loathe each other right now or not. You can't deny that they, they are expert when it comes to tag teams. They know how to be successful in a tag team. And Shannon Moore with that signature once again. And you can only guarantee, you can bet that Mar Matt Hardy has taught those things to Shannon Moore. Matt Hardy taking Shannon Moore under his wing. As Gregory Helms start trying to fight back, but Shannon Moore with a reversal. Oh, kick punch to the gut. Look at this. Face buster. It's a famouser. Almost like a variation of the famouser. Shannon Moore trying to, again, wisely cutting the rain in half, keeping G Gregory Helms away from Jeff Hardy. If Jeff Hardy can get into this match, that could be over. Wait a minute, look at this. Matt Hardy going for a ride with a cross body onto Gregory Helms. Gregory Helms desperately needs to make the tag, but Matt Hardy not letting that happen here. Matt Hardy now, second rope. What's he looking for here? Calling for it. What's he looking for? Ooh, elbow drop right to the right to the noggin, right to the top of the head. That can't feel good for Gregory. 
Jeff Hardy's still looking for that tag, but Matt Hardy's just not letting it happen. Look at this! Side effect, and that usually sets up for the twist of fate. Is Matt Hardy going to go for it? Is Matt Hardy going to go for that twist of fate? What's he doing here? Oh, he's pulling him all the way over to Shannon Moore's side of the ring for the pin, but Gregory Holmes with the fighting spirit kicking out. Matt Hardy, that was a smart move on the part of Matt Hardy. Dragging Gregory Holmes all the way back to to his side, to his team's side of the ring. Now Matt Hardy could be looking for it. Looks like he's looking for the twist of fake. Can he hit it? Oh, reversal by Gregory Holmes. Gregory Holmes reversed. What's he doing here? Sends Jeff Hardy into the corner. This may be what Gregory Holmes needed. No, Matt Hardy with a reversal. Gregory Holmes, though. Gregory Holmes has a reversal. Drops him down on the back of his head. Look at this! Super kick! Super kick out of nowhere by Gregory Helms. Could he be looking for the finish or could he be tagging in Jeff Hardy? What's he looking for? Oh, look at that Hurricane Rana. Now he's going to tag in Jeff Hardy. Now Jeff Hardy's coming in to pick up the pieces. Jeff Hardy now. Second rope. Now he's calling for Matt Hardy to get up to his feet. Jeff Hardy finally getting his hands on Matt Hardy since the start of this match. Oh, look at that. I don't see Jeff Hardy do that too often. Usually when you see Jeff Hardy on any ropes, he's at the top rope. Oh, big right hand. Oh, big forearm. Big back elbow. Crossbody. In for the cover. Can that be it? Shannon Moore. Looked like he was going to get involved, but he realized that Matt Hardy kicked out, so he decided against it. Jeff Hardy, look at this. Twist of fate. Can that be it? Can that be the final? Why is Jeff going in? He's going in the wrong corner. He's going in the wrong corner. And Shannon Moore making him pay for it. Shannon Moore taking advantage of Jeff Hardy's mistake. Jeff Hardy should have been going to that corner in the in in the in the front left, not the back left. And uh, Shannon Moore realized the mistake Jeff Hardy made, and he capitalized on it. And of course, Jeff Hardy did land on Matt Hardy, but it wouldn't have, it didn't do as much damage as it would have done if Jeff Hardy hit that Swanton. It's Gregory Helms now. He wants Matt to tag in Shannon Moore, but Matt Hardy isn't doing it. Matt Hardy doesn't want to tag in Shannon yet. Gregory Helms, ooh gonna pay for not just he, he's gonna he's gonna pay for not just going right after Matt Hardy and now he tags in Shannon he wanted to put Gregory Holmes down before he tagged in his tag team partner now Shannon Moore second rope what's he looking for here back and forth action here on Monday Night Raw he went for that finisher once again but Gregory Holmes with a with a reversal Gregory Holmes looked like he was going for that signature super kick but it was reversed by Shannon Moore but Shannon Moore gets dropped with a back suplex anyways. Shannon Moore getting dropped there. Super kick again! This time to Shannon Moore. This time it connected with Shannon Moore's chin. Now Jeff Hardy, where's he going? Gregory Holmes setting up the finish. Look at that. Oh, ghetto blaster. And Jeff Hardy in the corner. No oh, stunner dropping Matt Hardy to the outside. Gregory Holmes is going to pick up the win for his team. Three. Jeff Hardy gets the pick. The stipulation. For the Unforgiven pay-per-view, what a victory for Jeff and Gregory. Ah, oh, back and forth contest here. Oh, my Lord. I hope we see more of Shannon Moore and Gregory Helms. If you guys want to see more of those two, let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe we can put them in the cruiserweight. Oh, spoiler. Maybe we could put them in the cruiserweight tournament for SmackDown. I don't know. We'll have to see. But now, Jeff Hardy. Gets to make the decision. It's time for Jeff Hardy to decide what match him and Matt Hardy will have at Unforgiven. So thanks to the help of my good friend Gregory Holmes, I now get to pick the stipulation for my match against my brother Matt at Unforgiven. And after a lot of consideration, I have made my decision. And I choose a match that Matt and I perfected as a tag team, and that is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Take a good look at this arena and the crowd, Matt, because this will be the last time you see either. Jeff Hardy choosing the match that him and Matt Hardy perfected as a tag team. They cho he chose the tables, ladders, and chairs match. That rivalry will be settled. One of these two men will leave Monday Night Raw come unforgiven. Will it be Jeff Hardy or will it be Matt Hardy? We're gonna have to wait and see. After that big match, after that big announcement by Jeff Hardy, it's now time to just switch gears right into the main event. We have a triple threat elimination match. 
between the three superstars that will be in the triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship at Unforgiven. What a way to go into the pay-per-view by having a triple by having the same three superstars that will be in the championship match compete tonight in a triple threat elimination match. So it's not gonna just be one fall to a finish here tonight. It's elimination style matchup. So we will have two falls. Gonna have to see who can walk out the victor here tonight. Man, I can barely speak. It's been a long episode. If you guys are enjoying this episode so far, if you guys are enjoying this series so far, let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a like on this video. And let me know how excited you guys are for the Unforgiven pay-per-view. Because I am excited for the Unforgiven pay-per-view. It, it's set to be a huge match card. Of course, it will be coming shortly after this episode of Monday Night Raw. As the game, the Cerebral Assassin, the King of Kings... Is standing at ringside, making his way slowly into the ring. Looking to walk out tonight with some momentum heading into Unforgiven. But as it's the same with his two opponents. If, but if there is anyone that does need a, a little bit more of a momentum boost, it would be Triple H. Because he lost the title at SummerSlam. He lost to Randy Orton the next night on Raw. And we haven't seen him in action since SummerSlam, so... He, we haven't seen him in action since the night after SummerSlam. And that last match that he had, he lost. So if, there's a, if there is anyone that does need a little bit of momentum push here, it definitely would be Triple H. And if he needs it over anyone, it definitely is Randy Orton. Because technically, if you think about it, Triple H didn't lose to Shawn Michaels. It was Randy Orton's distraction that put him away. Or that assisted in putting him away. So Triple H... We still don't know if Triple H can really, if Shawn Michaels can really beat Triple H, but we are, we've already seen that Triple H has lost to Randy Orton. So we're going to have to see if uh, Triple, maybe that's what Triple H will go for. Maybe that is what he's mainly focused on. Maybe he's just try, focused on trying to, to eliminate Randy Orton as soon as he can to just prove that Randy Orton's win over him was nothing more than a fluke. But here comes the world heavyweight champion. It's the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. And I would have thought that Shawn Michaels wouldn't have been happy about hearing about this triple threat match for the world heavyweight championship at Unforgiven. But Shawn Michaels, he hasn't, he's not the type of, he's not the world champion that's going to complain about having to defend the title. He's, he's an honorable champion. Triple H would complain. He complained when he had to defend against Stone Cold Steve Austin. He complained when he had to defend it against Shawn Michaels. He did everything he could to put Shawn Michaels out of action so he wouldn't have to defend the title. But Shawn Michaels, he didn't he he just when Randy Orton challenged him to a match at Unforgiving, he just sort of shook his head yes. He like Shawn Michaels wasn't that worried. Shawn Michaels obviously he knows how talented Randy Orton and Triple H are, but Shawn Michaels is he feels like he is worthy to be world champion. He feels like He's ready for both Orton and Triple H. Shawn Michaels feels like he can beat them both, and he has beaten them both in the past. But this guy has been sitting on a wave of momentum ever since ever since he got pushed out of Evolution. Randy Orton has been sitting on a huge wave of momentum. Defeated him and Shawn Michaels teamed up, and they together defeated... Uh, Batista and Ric Flair right before the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Randy Orton then costing, cost Triple H his title at Unforgiven. I mean, not Unforgiven. <laughs> SummerSlam, excuse me. It's been a long day. But uh, Randy Orton also, after challenging uh, the same night that he challenged Shawn Michaels to the championship match, he defeated Triple H. The week after that, in his number one contenders match, he was it was a surprise opponent. He didn't know who he was going to face. It ended up being the icon Sting. And Randy Orton defeated Sting too. So, Randy or and Randy Orton defeated Ric Flair just last week. Randy Orton is wa riding a huge wave of momentum going into Unforgiven. So he's got to be one. He definitely is one of my favorites going into this match. I I feel like he might. We could be seeing a new world champion. He's been at a different state of mind ever since getting kicked out of Evolution and ever since getting. Ever since forfeiting his Aaron Cano championship to get this opportunity at the world title, Randy Orton has been in a completely different state of mind, more dominant, more focused. 
as is Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels has been doing so well. There's the bell. This triple threat elimination match is underway. Triple H going right after Randy Orton. Shawn Michaels just going to sit back and watch these two battle it out. Randy Orton now right hand went for a kick. Shawn, Triple H with a reversal. Big right hand dropping down the legend killer. Now Shawn Michaels looking to get into this match. Neckbreaker right taking down the former world heavyweight champion. Randy Orton back up to his feet. Shawn Michaels jawbreaker. Look at this. Got him up. Oh, Randy Orton now with a reversal. Gonna see a lot of a lot of momentum uh, switches here as we go in this match. Triple H, Snake Eyes dropping Orton down. Clothesline standing Randy Orton to the outside. Shawn, uh, Triple H trying to trying to taunt, but he didn't pay attention. Shawn Michaels is right behind him, and he's gonna make him pay for it. Big back elbow dropping the cerebral assassin to the ground. Shawn Michaels and Triple H battling it out. Ooh. The bitter rivalry that never ends between two former friends. Look at this. Randy Orton off the ropes. Big knee. And Shawn Michaels look at the moon moonsault. The knee from Randy Orton into the moonsault by Shawn Michaels. They've worked as a tag team before. I guess it's no surprise that they work as a tag team here tonight. Probably we'll see it again at the Unforgiven pay-per-view. Obviously, Triple uh, Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton have a common enemy in Triple H, so it's not... It's not unlikely that they would work together in a match like this. It's Triple H sending Michaels into the corner and he gets hung up and falls right back down to the mat. Randy Orton sneaks in, sends Triple H into the corner, clothesline into the running bulldog. Just like that, Randy Orton has momentum, has control of this match. Now he's got Shawn Michaels. Look at this. Look at the strength of Orton. Oh, what a nice reversal by Michaels. Now Michaels has the advantage. Like I said, you're going to see a lot of momentum switches here in this match. Shawn Michaels has Randy Orton up. Look at this. Look at this pile driver driving Randy Orton's head into the match. Triple H looking to steal the win, but no, Orton was too close to the ropes. And of course, if it was a normal triple threat match, you would see that Randy, that Shawn Michaels would try to break up that pin. But he, he's not going to here tonight because it's an elimination style matchup. Shawn Michaels now takes down Triple H. Goes for a maneuver there, but Triple H fights out of it. Kick to the gut. Another kick. Big right hand. Another big overhead shot. And a big chop. Shades of his protege, Ric Flair. Woo! Randy Orton now sending Triple H into the corner. Look at this. Orton middle rope. Oh, Bulldog from, from the middle rope taking down the game. The game now rolling to the outside. Shawn Michaels has Randy Orton on the inside. Oh, Orton reversed. Looked like Shawn Michaels going for a power bomb or another pile driver, but Randy Orton reversing. And Shawn Michaels not phased by that kick at all. Back up to his feet, but Randy Orton drops him right back down on his head. Drops him right back down on the head. Randy Orton's looking really good so far. Look at this. That signature backbreaker taken out. Shawn Michaels, he's looking for it. Randy's looking for it. Can he hit it? Can he hit it? RKO! Triple H, wait a minute! Triple H has that sledgehammer. Looks like he was going to go after Randy, but he's, he's waiting for Randy to eliminate Sean. But he still has a sledgehammer, and Randy Orton was ready. Kicked that sledgehammer right out of Triple H's hands when he drop kicked him right square in the face, taking down the cerebral assassin. Randy Orton, like I said, he looks ready to win that world championship, and he may very well do it this Sunday, but he may very well eliminate Triple H right now, but no. Triple H kicks out of two. Shawn Michaels just giving Orton and Triple H a little bit of time to go after each other. Look at this. Triple H. Oh, one for pedigree. Shawn Michaels. What the hell? Shawn Michaels oddly broke up the pedigree. That was giving Shawn Michaels a chance to... What? And Shawn Michaels in for the cover on Triple H. I still don't fully understand why Shawn Michaels broke up a finisher. Triple H very well could have put Randy Orton away with that pedigree, but Shawn Michaels broke it up. No, no, it doesn't make any sense to me, but Shawn Michaels has the advantage now. Big knee to the side of the head. Shawn Michaels now. Top rope. Randy Orton. Look at this. Big knee. This time Shawn Michaels decides not to follow it up. Shawn Michaels decided not to follow it up this time, but he's going right after Randy Orton. Went for a neckbreaker. Orton with a reversal. He's got him up. Look at the strength of Randy with a gut buster. Went, went from that back suplex position into a spin-out gut buster. I guess that's what I would call it. 
Triple H now. Trying to fight back against Orton. Orton with a right hand. Ooh, big uppercut. Look for a snap suplex and it connects in for the cover. Can that be it? First elimination of the matchup. Two. Does he have him here? No. Triple H kicks out at two and a half. Oh, Triple H out of nowhere with a big knee right to the head. And he, hit, he has one for Shawn Michaels as well. Triple H popping right back up to his feet. Almost like, it's like he wasn't even bothered by Orton's offense. Triple H, like I said, he is on a tear. He is just... He's he's trying so hard to get some momentum, but Shawn Michaels stops him dead in his tracks. Randy Orton went for a clothesline. Shawn Michaels with a reversal. Crucifix. And for the cover, can that put away Orton? Almost eliminate, eliminated Orton there. Now Orton, double under hook. Suplex taken out. Shawn Michaels taking out the world heavyweight champion. All three of these men looking, <laughs> looking impressive so far. They're all looking impressive as Triple H now from the outside. Distracting Orton, dropping him. Face, neck first on that top rope. Look at this. Spine Buster. In for the cover off the Spine Buster. Can that put away the Legend Killer? Can that put him away? This time Sean wasn't breaking it up. And Randy Orton kicks out at two. But now Sean is going to go in after Orton. And Triple H. Neck breaker. Sean in for the cover. Does he have him here? Oh no. Kick out at two. A two and a half again. Triple H isn't going down that easy. Oh, he's trying to get the roll up on Randy Orton, but he was too close to the ropes. A long episode so far. We are at 42 minutes. <laughs> Holy Christ. Told you guys it was going to be a long one. It's the go-home show to the, the Unforgiven pay-per-view. This is the main event. We had two triple threat matches and a tag team match. Two of the longest matches in 2K18. Oh, Triple H, goodness gracious. Big shot with that sledgehammer. Finally, he gets to use it. Oh, big shots to the back. Jesus. Triple H now stalking Randy Orton and Shawn Michaels on the outside of the ring. Ref can't do anything about that sledgehammer because it's a triple threat match. No DQ, Triple H. Now look at this. Pedigree. Planning Orton. Planning Randy Orton. Does Triple H get his revenge here tonight? Cover. No, Orton kicked out. How did Randy Orton kick out of that? What the hell is Shawn Michaels doing? What the hell is he? Triple H making a pay for that. German suplex off that middle rope. Triple H making Shawn Michaels pay with a spine buster. <laughs> Triple H is playing no games here. Playing no games. Now he's going to pedigree Randy Orton. Looking for it a second time. Can this one put him away? And that time he got lacerated. Randy Orton got busted wide open cover we got our first elimination orton's eliminated we are down to Shawn michaels oh sweet chin music out of nowhere sweet chin music into the figure four leg <laughs> Shawn michaels taking advantage of the distraction triple h obviously had just gotten up to his feet after eliminating randy orton Shawn michaels caught him with a super kick went for the cover but no kick out at two and a half by triple h what's Shawn michaels looking for here wait a minute Looking for the sweet chin music again. This could put him away. Sweet chin music coming up. No. Triple H was ready. He ducked at that time. But Shawn Michaels caught him with a back suplex. He couldn't capitalize. Triple H couldn't capitalize on that one. Triple H sends him off the ropes. Under. What's he looking for here? Oh, Shawn Michaels with a reverse, uh, reversal. Triple H. Fireman's carry reversal as well. Back and forth action just like at SummerSlam. Kick to the gut. Shawn Michaels now, Fireman's Carry Reversal. Picks him up. Triple H again with a reversal. Look at this. Oh, pulled back into a neck breaker. Triple H looks a little tired. Looks like he's trying to regain a little bit of his stamina. Now he could be looking for it. This could be the final nail in the coffin. Could be a pedigree. What's he doing? Triple H, he went for a pedigree. Could have ended it, but Shawn Michaels fights right back. DDT planning Triple H down to the mat. Wait a minute, he's got him up. Oh, he did this to Orton Pile Driver. Big pile driver. Shawn Michaels stalking Triple H. He's got him. Super kick! Super kick, that's it. Shawn Michaels walks out victorious. Two, three. Triple H kicked out again. 
Triple H kicked out again. Shawn Michaels is going to look for it a third time. Third time's a charm here. Shawn Michaels this time tuning up the band sweet chin music. Same move that won Shawn Michaels a World Heavyweight Championship. May win him this match here tonight. Cover three. Shawn Michaels picks up the win. And if he can do that at Unforgiven, he will remain World Heavyweight Champion. What a match. What a main event. So much back and forth action. So many times I thought Triple H had it. So many times I thought Orton had it. So many times I thought Shawn Michaels had it. In the end, it would be Shawn Michaels that would get the victory, though. Huge wave of momentum for Shawn Michaels heading into the pay-per-view. Pinning the former World Heavyweight Champion in Triple H again for the second time. And, of course, you can't take anything away from Randy Orton. He put up a big fight. Triple H can't take anything away from him. He eliminated Randy Orton. So Randy Orton, uh, Triple H still goes into the match with a little bit of momentum, but Shawn Michaels, the World Heavyweight Champion, goes in to Unforgiven with all of the momentum. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a go-home show to Unforgiven. Be sure to tune in to the Unforgiven pay-per-view this Sunday. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.